If you have ventured outside today, you have no doubt noticed it doesn't take long to break a sweat walking around even. Today's highs in the 90s for a lot of people pent up. This brings up the question also, will the heat and humidity kill this virus that we're trying to get past? Reporter Aaron Jones is in Dallas today asking the experts to separate the fact from a lot of fiction. Walking his dog on the Katy Trail, Mason Tenery is feeling the heat. You know, it's a little too hot considering, you know, we had 40 degrees last weekend. Temperatures in the 90s makes it harder for him to give it his all. And apparently, the same can be said for the coronavirus. Whenever we have high heat and humidity, like we're seeing today, the virus does tend to be less stable. Dr. Diana Cervantes, an epidemiologist with the University of North Texas Health Science Center, says the lipid shell that surrounds the virus starts breaking down in these conditions. Whenever you hear that studies found that this virus can survive on paper or surfaces from you know hours to days, that wasn't really ideal conditions, you know, low humidity uh, and temperatures that were probably in the low 70s. She says in high heat or humidity, your packages don't have to sit in the car or garage long for the virus to start breaking down. If there's something that isn't going to melt or is it perishable and you can leave your car for a couple hours, that's definitely going to help. But even in these conditions, Dr. Cervantes wants to stress the virus can still spread. Well, there's a lot of other factors that go into how the virus is spread, right? So the type of contact we have with people, if you're just speaking to somebody very closely and you're sick, then that's pretty much just right on that person. That's why Tenery is still practicing social distancing while getting some vitamin D. You gotta stay healthy. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.